L'chaim and a good Erev Shabbos on this beautiful winter day. So I want to tell you a Torah thought that I heard from the Lubavitcher Rebbe many years ago. And it's something that moved me and inspires me till today. And I hope we can do the same to you. So first of all, L'chaim, Shabbat Shalom. May it be a Shabbos full of peace and joy and happiness and light for all of us. Tomorrow, we're going to finish the book of Genesis and show you. Genesis is a book full of drama. It means like a soap opera. So many stories with full, filled with drama. drama. And it finishes the portion of Vayechi. And the last verse says like this. And this is going to read it to you inside. It says, Vayamas Joseph and Joseph died when he was 110 years old. Vayachan to Oise, they embalmed him. Vayisem ba'aram b'mitzrayim. They put him in a coffin and they buried him in Egypt. Now, 1987, and if I bring it on Shabbos Vayechi, they're ever asked a tremendous question. We all know the famous Jewish idea that we always try to finish something positive. We always try to finish every book, every chapter with a positive note. In fact, for thousands of years, every Jewish writer who wrote a holy book, a Sefer, it always finishes on a positive note. So the question they're about asked, why would we finish the whole book of Genesis with the words that Joseph was embalmed and interned in Egypt? How sad, the end of an era, Joseph passes away, the viceroy of Egypt, the one who saves all his brothers. Why would we begin, end the book of Genesis this way? Even the book of Deuteronomy, which we end with the passing of Moses, ends in such a way that is so moving and so inspiring that it leaves you at tears, but it doesn't end that he died and they buried him. You know, when it comes to Genesis, that's the way it ends. And the Rebbe said even more, you know, when we finish one of the books of the Torah, we always finish chazak, chazak, menit chazek. May we be strong and stronger and be strengthened. So the Rebbe says, think about it. We're going to in a minute, oh, we'll get up and show which will happen tomorrow and say chazak, chazak, menit chazek. And what happens right before we tell us that Joseph was embalmed and interned in Egypt, interned in Egypt where he couldn't go to his, be buried in the Holy Land. In fact, we just read earlier how much effort Jacob made that he should be buried in the Holy Land. He made him swear to him. And here Joseph dies and is buried in the land of Egypt. And what's even more so the Rebbe says is like this. Right afterwards, what happened? We begin the book of Shemot. The book of Exodus, which reads with a tyranny of Pharaoh, the Hitler of his days, who enslaved the Jews for hundreds of years. He killed, he enslaved, he butchered, he abused the Jewish people. So what's the hope they go with into Exodus? That Joseph was buried in Egypt? And the Rebbe said something so beautiful. And the Rebbe cried when he said this. The Rebbe said like this, you see, how does a person have the courage to go forward in a time of pain. We all know that the whole creation even, the creation of the world all happened. There had to be, God had to hide himself in the world. There had to be a vacuum in order for the world to be created. We all understand that the world and our life comes with challenges, it comes with struggles. But how do we deal with it? How do we survive it? How do we overcome it? And that's what the Rebbe says, the genius of this verse. You see, Joseph, could have asked that he should be buried in the Holy Land of Israel together with his father. But Joseph wanted the Jewish people to know that although it's going to be painful, although it's going to be hard, although it's going to be challenging, I will be with you. Joseph stayed with the Jewish people in Egypt. They say this very famous story about Viktor Frankl, the famous Jew who survived the Holocaust and wrote his famous book, Meaningful, how, how to. The, the, Frankel spoke to her on the phone and he spoke with. And Victor Frankel convinced her to stay alive and she didn't commit suicide. And later on, he met with her and he asked her, Which one of my reasons, which I tried to explain you, he was a therapist, to convince you not to die, which one worked? And she said, To tell you the truth, none of them worked. You know what worked? What worked was that you stayed with me on the phone and you were there with me. 
And that's what the Rebbe says. We finished the book of Genesis. This could be the most positive note before the exile. That the Jewish people have to know that Joseph stays with the Jews in Egypt. The Rebbe said this, he cried tremendously. And the Rebbe connected it to his father-in-law, the previous Rebbe, whose name was Yosef too, and who was buried in Queens in Montefiore Cemetery. And I always remember the Rebbe would go there and he would stand there for hours, days, sometimes coming home close to midnight, tired, close to 90 years old, with tears in his eyes where he prayed for the Jewish people. And the Rebbe said the fact that the previous Rebbe is buried here in New York and not in the Holy Land of Israel is so... The famous idea in Judaism that we're a righteous person is buried, becomes a holy place. And that the Rebbe wanted, just like Joseph, Joseph wanted to stay in Egypt because he wanted the Jews to have holiness next to them and in the time of challenge, they should have comfort and hope. And that's why the book of Genesis finishes with these words. And that's why right after these words we say, Chazak, Chazak, Venis Chazak, may you be strong against stronger. As the Rebbe said this, he cried because only by knowing that Joseph stays with us and his holiness is with us in the presence of exile, it gives us the hope and it gives us the comfort to go through the darkness. And the Rebbe said the same thing is true about the previous Rebbe. And in 1994, the Rebbe was buried. The Rebbe was interred in Queens in the Holy Oil where he rests till this day. And every year, hundreds of thousands, millions of people come to get comfort and to pray at the place of his resting. If you're ever in New York, I strongly recommend you go. Or if you want, I can take you once. But the message is so powerful. The message of how we finish the book of Genesis. What does Joseph say the verse before? He tells the Jewish people that I'm going to die, but God will keep his promise and take you to the land of Israel. And only then shall you take me. He gives them hope, but more than hope, he gives them his presence that he will be with them in exile in the darkness and he will comfort them. May Hashem give us all that we should always find strength in the darkness. Just yesterday, a young 25-year-old Yehuda Dinamin was killed, murdered in Samaria just because he was Jewish. What could we do? Of course we support Israel and of course we go there and of course we support them and lobby for them, but how do we comfort this guy? And the answer, of course, is by just being with them. By Yisem Ba'aram and Mitzrayim. May Hashem give us. And just as we say tomorrow, Inshallah, Chazak, Chazak, Baniz Chazak. May we be strong, may we be strengthened. And may we know that wherever we go, Joseph, Rebbe, all the righteous are with us. And give us the strength to persevere till the day of the promise. God says to Jacob, Isaac, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Rivka, that we will be redeemed and brought back to the time of redemption. God bless you and Shabbat Shalom.